Milan get their first three points in the Champions League. They beat Club Bruges 3-1. Guys, Francesco Camarda comes in, the youngest Italian ever to participate, to start in the Champions League. The youngest Milan player ever to start in the Champions League. He actually scores a goal, gets disallowed for 40 Gioco. This much, this much offside. And you're thinking to yourself, it's all roses. Milan played well. Guys, for 56 minutes, Milan was not the most dangerous team on the pitch. Absolutely not. Um, guys, Bruges played this one well. Bruges played this one well. And in the first half, although Milan had most of the ball possession, they weren't creating too many chances, nothing dangerous. And Bruges sat back, well organized. And every single time they counterattacked, they created a chance. And if it wasn't for Mania, Milan would have been down 3 or 4 nothing in the first half. In the first half, every single chance they had, they created an occasion. One in particular where from the right-hand side, always from the right-hand side, the player cuts back in, he shoots, Manja has to make this tremendous saves. On the following corner, they hit the crossbar. Then Milan finally finds the opener with Pulisic off the corner. Nobody touches the ball, shoots it directly into the net. Uh, beautiful goal from Captain America. Thank God for Captain America. I got to be honest, I like the way Leao played, created some discomfort to the uh, Bruges defenders. But, but, nothing, nothing comforting for Milan in that first half. And yes, Bruges goes down to 10 men. And you would think to yourself, okay. In the second half, Milan will pick it up. They have the man advantage, but no. Bruges, once again, finding the occasion, finding the goal. 1-1 off the right-hand side. They cross it back in. The open man finds the goal. They're down to 10 men. And you're thinking to yourself, how is this possible? Milan is no longer scaring anybody. Everybody knows that if you put pressure on Milan's defense, you will end up getting a goal. We concede goals very easily. We're fragile uh, mentally. If something goes wrong once, you could see it. They start panicking. And for some reason, and Fonseca, Fonseca, guys. Fonseca, right now, luck is on his side. Because he decides to take out Leao. And Leao was on the other side of the field. The side is going to come out from the other side. Chukwaze Okafor come in instead of Leao and Loftus-Cheek. Leal doesn't even have time to do the entire turn to go back towards the bench that Okafor on the left-hand side finds Tiani Reinders for the 2-1. And like a few minutes later, Chukwaze on the right-hand side beats a defender. Great run inside to Tiani Reinders. Almost identical, but from the opposite side. Guys, 3-1. Milan cruising at this point. Milan cruising at this point. Camarda comes in instead of Morata. Scores the 4-1 at the 87th minute. Crowd goes crazy. Crowd goes crazy. And then you see the replay. And you're like, poor kid. That goal is going to be disallowed. And the goal eventually gets disallowed. Uh, offside by a small margin. But it is offside. But it was a beautiful header. He gets on top of the defender. Like he beats him clean. Beautiful goal off the uh, corner. I believe it was a corner. Or it was just a cross. I think it was a corner. But anyways. Uh, but that to say... That for 56 minutes, Milan did not look like the better team on the field, even having an extra man. And they're going to have to figure something out. But thank God, luckily, we were able to get three points, the first three points of this Champions League. We couldn't afford it, a loss or a tie against Bruges. Bruges is one of these teams that Milan, on paper, should be able to beat. They brought the result home. But I got to be honest, 3-1... It's too flattering for this Milan team. Like, they didn't deserve the 3-1. Let me know what you think. Write in the comments. Like and subscribe. Guys, Milan, first three points. Meno male. Meno male.